So momentum, it's not about the number of fans of followers or followers. So this is very important. You can have, let's say, on a Facebook page, you can have 100,000 fans, but only 100 of them interact with you. So this is the worst media strategy ever. You should, you can have 10,000 or 1,000 fans, okay, as long as you have 10 or 20 percent, even 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 8 percent interacting with you, that's good. So it's all about engagement. You have to see how much people are engaging with you and not how many people are following you. Following has or fans, fans, okay, is not really the the key metric for you to see. The key metric is the ratio of how many engaging or how many people are engaging with you over how many followers you have. Social media, as I was saying, and the real world start to mix. How can you manage your social media more efficiently? So you have platforms and interfaces like desktop applications such as TweetDeck, TweetDeck and Hootsuite that would allow you to manage uh, different platforms for one account. So for instance, you have Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Plus for the same account that you can post there and then you can interact on all four. Okay, and you have obviously the smartphone apps such as Uber, Social, and Twitter that would allow you to be, update, to be updated and connected all the time even on your phone. Uh, as I said, relationships take time. So not just the following, but the, the trust, okay, just like any other relationship. If you're in a relationship, okay, on a personal level, you know that it would take time to trust that other person. It's the same thing on social media. Okay, you do not trust or you do not, people do not trust you overnight. They need time and they need proof for that. Okay? Now, regarding the expansion, take the dialogue with followers to the next level. By that, we mean go first, go viral. Go viral, it means that let people interact with you, let people share you, let people share your posts. Okay? And take it to the next level. Let your followers become your ambassadors. Let them retweet your news. Let them talk about your news. Let them answer. Let's say, for instance, you have a restaurant and you open, okay, from 8 till 10 in the evening, okay? And then somebody comes to your page and asks about the opening hours of your restaurant, okay? Let your followers answer him. Do not answer him. When you have your followers answering your fans or answering each other, this is where you would have achieved the real engagement and the optimal engagement because then you would have speakers on your behalf who are out there ambassadors of your brand and, of, and or of your product. Uh, avoid exaggerations and repetitive messages because eventually it becomes boring. People always, people are on social media because they want fresh news, not, uh, not news that, are, that is old or that is being repetitive. Don't be afraid to share and contribute. Don't be afraid to give your opinion, okay? But be careful about critical matters where your opinion might, as a brand, okay, as, a per, as, as an individual, you can do whatever you want, you can say whatever you want. But be careful when you're, when you're a product or when you're a brand to take stands when it comes to critical issues. And last but not least, the most important is to accept criticism as you would accept likes and positive feedback. Because actually, positive feedback is good for you but it doesn't help you enhance. What helps to enhance is criticism, okay? So take criticism and build upon it. Build upon it to enhance your brand and to enhance your product. Promote your business on social media. This is interesting for you to see uh, because this shows you how much social media is powerful these days, okay, in the MENA region. You can see here that 86% believe social media empowers entrepreneurs. So here is no longer a question for you whether you should be on social media or not. Again, it is when to be on social media and how to do it there. This quote is very, very interesting that says we don't have a choice on whether to do social media. The question is how well we do it. It is that you don't have a choice to decide whether to be or not on social media. Okay? Do not be that brand that says, okay, I'm going to still wait and see if, if it works for me. It will work for you. If you do it right, it will work for you. And it will save you a lot, of mo a lot of money, a lot of time, and the most important, it will get you a lot of business. Trust me on this, it will get you a lot of business because when you are on social media and when you become social, when you are social, this is where people will trust you more than anything else. Because social media, when people can talk to you, when uh, there is a two-way communication, when, you, when they see that you have... Um, that you actually correct your mistakes and they see it live in front of them, this is when they trust you more. So the question is how well we do it.